So, you're a PC gamer who just got rid of their Windows and now moved on to Linux. Congratulations! So now, you're wondering, okay, how do I play games then? In case you lived under a rock, most games are developed for Windows. I mean, some are developed for Mac, but Linux? No one is like really developing a game with Linux first in mind. But that's where our friends at Steam help us out. Now, to clarify, Using Steam to play Windows games on Linux is not the only method to run Windows games on under Linux. But I happen to choose Steam because, well, it's the most popular option and literally everyone knows what Steam is. Compared to like Heroic Launcher, uh, Lutris, or games like Genshin that have their own custom launchers for Linux, or like unofficial ones. So. The very first thing you want to do is open up Steam and go to your settings. Then go to where compatibility is and enable that option called enable Steam play for all titles. Make sure that's enabled. And uh, yeah, there you go. Now you can play Windows games, you know, using Linux. So is it really that simple? Yes, it is. But here's the catch. Not every Windows game will run easily under Linux you know, out of the box and all that. So here is how you make most Windows games compatible under Linux. So pick any game, uh, any game really. Uh, for me, I'm gonna choose Girls Frontline 2 because I've been kind of addicted to it recently. So, you know, I'm gonna head over to Girls Frontline 2 and scroll all the way down till I see the Steam Deck compatibility rating. So if you are playing Windows games, you know, with your Steam Deck, remember that's Linux. Well then there you go. Valve has, you know, made it really easy for you to figure out which games work with the Steam Deck and which ones don't and which one is playable with, you know, tweaks and that. So what if you're not using the Steam Deck? Why would I show this to you anyway? So disclaimer, you know, because Linux is open source and has many different distributions, you know, chances are, you know, what I'm about to say may not be true. But in my personal experience, if the Steam Deck, you know, compatibility says, oh, it's verified, uh, chances are it works on my Linux distribution as well. Uh, and it may work on yours, or maybe it won't, uh, but like I said, it really depends on what type of Linux you're using. But for me, if it's verified on Steam Deck, it works well on my Linux distribution. So what happens if your game says the Steam Deck compatibility is unknown or whatever, right? Or, you know, it is verified, but when you try to play the game under Proton, it's not running out of the box. So what do you do? So recently, I found a really cool website called ProtonDB. I think it's .com or something. Uh, just type ProtonDB into your search and then click on the very first thing. And then you head to ProtonDB. You head to ProtonDB, go to the search bar, and type in your game. These are ratings that tell you how well the games run under Proton. So I'm going to pick the first one because that's the real one. And as you can see here, these are a bunch of reviews of people with different systems that tell you, hey, uh, this is my system, you know, here are my specs, and this is what I did to make the game work. Uh, you know, so I don't know, pick a review that matches, you know, the closest to your system and just follow their steps. That's how I typically do it for these type of games. Also, just letting you know that these are regularly updated. So if some of these reviews are a little bit old, don't worry, just wait a bit. Someone will probably, you know, test their system and post it on here. And then you can also, you know, mix and compare and all that good stuff. So using one of these uh, ProtonDB reviews, oh yeah, uh, I use Arch by the way, he 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 he. These are my specs. Uh, and since I use Arch, I have have a couple of ways of you know uh, installing what I need so I will go to the search over here type GE Proton it's like either 25 26 whatever click on the first thing I can you know find like the, the proper link and then use the command line or I can just because uh, since I use GNOME I, I can just go into the software packages look up Proton QT something and uh, yeah so we got the CLI method and the GUI method. So 
pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Depending on your Linux distribution, you're gonna have different methods of installing different software. But just look up uh, GE Proton, pretty much. Oh yeah, and uh, for Girls Frontline 2, I mean, I need a GE Proton uh, 26, which I already have, but this is how, you know, you add different versions of Proton depending on what you're following in the ProtonDB. And using ProtonDB, uh, someone recommended to use this command or something for, for the launch options. So, uh, yeah, I just copy and paste it and put it into uh, my properties for the game. So, yeah, let's launch the game. So, it can take a while, I believe. I believe if like you're installing the game for the first time, uh, you know, running the game for the first time, or if it's like after an update, uh, the Vulcan shaders, I think, does take quite a bit to start up. Although, I'm not a computer scientist, I could be completely wrong, but for me, sometimes the Vulcan shaders take forever, sometimes they don't. I'm, I'm exaggerating, but it does take like two to three minutes, I mean. Uh, but anyway, I'll cut to, you know, me, you know, fully in the game. So, yeah, I am in the game. Uh, honestly, you know, most games... Whenever, you know, I'm doing this process, I'm getting smooth frame rate, I'm getting, uh, the game works well, you know, the game really works well, but it, it depends on the game, and sometimes I've had this issue where, uh, you know, following all these steps and all that good stuff, sometimes, the, like, the game doesn't use my GPU, and instead uses my CPU to, like, to, like, run the game, and in that case, uh, you know, Check carefully with ProtonDB, otherwise use Google, ChatGPT, even, uh, stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, you know, you know, I'm just messing around in the home screen right now, clicking on buttons and that. It's very fluid, it's very smooth. I think I'm running this at 120 FPS. It honestly doesn't even feel bad. It, it feels really native, even though it's not. Like, just check this game, it's made for Windows. But it feels super native, even though it isn't. It's great. It's awesome. So yeah, that is how you run most Windows games, you know, using Linux, using Steam, using Proton, and all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching this video. I just want to say, uh, my latest video did really well. Uh, it was about Linux distributions and, like, uh, how many they are and, like, what to pick and stuff like that. You guys really responded well to that. Uh, as of recording this, I think it just hit 200 views, so I, I'm very glad, I'm very appreciative of the support, thank you very much, and you know, I, I, I was like, dang, okay, people really like this Linux video, so I'm going to make this video, you know, as fast as I can, and upload it as fast as I can to the channel, and hopefully you guys like this video as well, and uh, as always, uh, you know, if you like the video, give a like, subscribe. Let me know if you want more Linux videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!